Nambi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has promised to supply free gas and oil to West African countries, including Nigeria, when the Republic of Biafra is eventually realized. Nambi Kano pledged that the persecuted northern Christian communities will be granted political asylum in Biafra to save them from genocidal attack by terrorists. Nambi Kano made the pledges in a live broadcast, said that the struggle for the independence of Biafra was not born out of greed to control oil money, contrary to insinuations in some quarters. The IPOB leader rather explained that the quest for Biafra autonomy was born out of the desire to liberate the entire black race from subjugation and neocolonialism. According to a statement later by IPOP Media and Publicity Secretary Ima Powerful, the freedom of Biafra means freedom of the black race. The statement assured persecuted indigenous communities of their safety and protection under independent Biafra. It reads in part, we want to inform Christian communities in northern Nigeria that they have nothing to worry about in a disintegrated Nigeria. Our leader made this solemn pledge during his live broadcast on March 8, 2021 during which he also assured them that they will be granted automatic settlement rights in the new Biafra when Nigeria finally implodes as every other failed state before it has done. Biafra will not allow Northern Christians who are currently at the mercy of marauding terrorists to be roasted by those eager to, dis to decimate indigenous communities of northern Nigeria. Our leader has assured them on that divine oath that any northern country Christian, I beg your pardon, any northern Christian willing to live in Biafra land can come and settle. Northern Christians shall be granted political asylum in Nigeria, or sorry, in Biafra to pursue their legitimate careers. He equally promised to give free oil and gas to Ghana, Togo, Benin Republic, Ivory Coast, the Gambia, and other countries in West Africa and Africa at large. This is to prove to them that the agitation for Biafra autonomy is not driven by the quest to control oil money. Rather, a struggle for self-rule is born out of our desire to set the entire black race free from subjugation. Biafra wants to have neighbors that are free and peaceful so they can also benefit from, pros from uh, prosperity and enterprise. The independence of Biafra is the beginning of freedom for the black race. An independent Biafra will defend indigenous communities in Nigeria against fulanization and attacks by terrorists. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Can this really be uh, achievable? Could this really, will it work? Free oil to West African countries? That is massive. Well, nothing is impossible if we set our hearts to achieve it. Nothing is impossible. So be that as it were, should we say it is good news to the people of the West African nations around the country, around the continent, as it were, if Biafra is restored? But the question is, when will Biafra be restored? We all know that Nambi Kano has made several other promises on this particular issue, and uh, we continue to hope and expect that the restoration of Biafra happens anytime soon, and uh, he will be able to, and we'll see if he will be able to fulfill the promises that he has made. But however, from the look of things, it is not impossible to give oil to other uh, countries as it were, because you know, Nigeria supply electricity to some African countries 
and they those people in those countries enjoy constant electricity even way beyond Nigeria. So it is not out of place. But the only question is that when Inamdekano said it's going to be free, what will be the economic impact even on Biafra land? That is a question because some uh, some developed countries already who are buying or patronizing the oil, the crude oil from African countries are looking towards moving away from using petrol and uh, other uh, uh, products that has to or that comes from crude oil. They are looking at you know electric cars, electric train, and all stuffs like that trying to face out fumes and anything that has to do with um, oil. So if Biafra continues to supply or wishes to supply free oil and gas to West African nations and other nations in the Africa, the question is how will they meet up with the challenges of finance or economic uh, challenge that may be posed? You understand? So this is just my fear. But, you know, before Namdekano would come out to make such pronouncements, one would expect that Namikano would have made, done his research and uh, known how things would work. But it is what it is. It's not as if it's out of place. It's not as if it is not achievable. It is very, very achievable and can be carried out successfully. But it is also not uh, out of place to think about the consequences that there might be consequences. Well, it is what it is. Regardless of what it is, we all know that Nambekano is a man who, to a very large extent, you know, keeps his word or keeps his promises. So, but it is what it is. Let's keep encouraging him, and we hope that sooner than later, Biafra can be restored. And uh, if eventually the referendum is granted and Biafra is restored, from the look of things, it seems that the country is in for good uh, development, the best of its kind, the world-class uh, development as it is, which to a very large extent the Southeast has lacked, you know, under this uh, dispensation under Nigeria. So it is what it is. Be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? I would like to know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Please drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.